Nope. Sorry. Nothing.
someone do so you picked a bad time to get lost friend <laughs> Ah! 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 
ancestors wouldn't want this, Silas. Why should I hide from it? This is my family's legacy. It's the past. Dead oaths on dead lips. Let it stay there. The museum is opening with you. I beg you, don't go into Silas's museum. Silas comes from one of the oldest families in Dawnstar. They have a complicated history. Several of his ancestors belong to the mythic Dawn, the cult that almost destroyed Tamriel. His family's involvement was only found out well after the crisis had died down, but it still ruined their reputation. They were outcasts. And now Silas is back, and this museum to the mythic Dawn is his way of trying to rebuild his family's pride. It's misguided. Not a student of history, I see. It's for the best. They're a group that should be forgotten. The only thing you need to know is that they almost destroyed the world. And they were stopped. A long time ago. That museum is a mistake. And here comes my first visitor. The Museum of the Mythic Dawn is open, friend. Never mind that. Medina is a good woman, but I have my own reasons for opening this museum, and I'm not changing my mind. I have a collection of artifacts from the group that toppled an empire. Their importance to history cannot be forgotten. Why don't you come in? You can browse the displays and we can talk. I have a job you look perfect for. Let's talk inside. Feel free to look around. Come talk to me when you're ready to discuss that job I mentioned. The tapestries hung here and outside were found in hideouts, where members of the Mythic Dawn would meet and plot. The cult's greatest accomplishment was the assassination of the Septim Dynasty and the opening of the Oblivion Gates. That burned paper is all that remains of the fabled Mysterium Xarxes, the blasphemous book written by Merun's Dagon himself. It's said that Mankar Cameron used the book to open a portal to a paradise where all his followers would live forever. The commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes were written by the Mythic Dawn cult leader, Mankar Cameron. He promised a paradise awaited his followers when they died, that they would be reborn by Merun's Dagon's side. Did you have any questions about the museum, or would you rather talk business? It's no secret that my family were once members of the Mythic Dawn. One of my forefathers was even chosen to assassinate Uriel Septim himself. We hid from our past for years, became tradesmen, people of coin and influence. But I realized that the Mythic Dawn's importance, our importance, to history cannot be denied. I'll see everyone in Tamriel remember that for a moment, we held the fate of the world in our hands, for good or ill. And here you are. I hope you found the museum to your liking. They were worshippers of Merun's Dagon, the Daedric Lord of Destruction and Change. The mythic dawn killed Uriel Septim VII and his heirs, triggering the events that led to the Oblivion Crisis when the Daedra invaded Tamriel. All that remains of the infamous cult, I've gathered in my museum. Ah, an excellent question. Merun's Dagon is the Daedric Lord of Change, Destruction, and Ambition. Dagon's mythic Dawn cult killed the Septim Dynasty and opened the Oblivion Gates into Tamriel. They called it the Oblivion Crisis. A little history first. 
After the Oblivion Crisis, a number of groups cropped up dedicated to wiping out the remnants of the Mythic Dawn. One of these groups found Merun's Razor, the artifact of Dagon. They split it into three fragments and pledged to keep them apart forever. That was almost 150 years ago, and the pieces are still being kept by the descendants of that group, and they're right here, in Skyrim. At least two of the owners, Gonzal and Draskua, are dangerous marauders. And the third owner, Jorgen, I only know he lives in Morthal. Here are my notes about them. I'll gladly pay you for getting the pieces any way you can. No questions asked. The Razor is Merun's Dagon's personal artifact. It has always heralded bloody change and carnage. It's held many names. Dagger of the Final Wounds, Bane of the Righteous, the Kingslayer. The Mythic Dawn worshipped Dagon as a god. Having his razor would be invaluable to my collection. Good luck finding the fragments. You're wrong to come here, stranger. No rest in Dawnstar. Everyone here is having nightmares. I have miners tripping over their own feet from lack of sleep. I heard there was a priest of Mara who was supposed to be looking into it. We'll see if anything comes of that. That would be Jarl Skald the Elder. He's over in the White Hall, probably talking about Ulfric like he's the second coming of Talos. I own Ironbreaker Mine. We make twice as much coin as those horkers over in Quicksilver Mine. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I pay a good wage for any iron ore you dig up, if you're looking for work. Until next time. They say that vampires attack the wall of the Vigilant. I will. Lady Mara will save us from these nightmares. You'll see. Need something? Divine sakes, Gaul. Is it Who do you they think say? we're threatening with There's our the dragon held captive in White Run? We're not you? soldiers anymore. You released it? By the gods, man. Why? Legion armor. What should I make of that? He's proud of his service, Scald. The Legion taught us loyalty, and we're loyal to Dawnstar. 
This isn't over. I catch you sending one letter to General Tullius. I'll have you both executed. You never talk much about yourself, do you, Horik? I swear, these past 30 years you've been at my side and I think I barely know you. What's to say? I was born on a farm, joined the Legion when I came of age, and I've served you ever since. What about your family? There must have been someone waiting for you back at the farm, wondering if you were ever coming home? No, can't say there was. My parents died when I was young. You and the Legion have been my only family since. I see. You're a good soldier, Horik. I'm sorry for intruding. You weren't. There's just not much to it. Unless you're here to solve this nightmare problem, I don't need you. Oh, the Stormcloaks are destined to win this fight. Talos is with us, and when you fight under a Divine's blessing, <laughs> victory is assured. Dawnstar has a history of being the site of battles that have crippled the fate of the Empire. <laughs> I hope this remains true. Don't bother me again unless it's important. The Jarl is tired. Be mindful of that. We are poor. I'm if you're here about the nightmares, I'm afraid my pleas to the College of Winterhold go unheard. If you could call it that. The Jarl can make all the demands in the world. I'm not setting one foot on that battlefield. I fought in the Great War. I cut enough young lives short. I'm not going to do it again. About 30 years ago, the Aldemary Dominion invaded the Empire. It was a surprise attack. Caught everyone off guard. They ended up sacking the Imperial City. I was there. Blasting apart young elven men and women with fireballs and lightning bolts. By Akatosh. All the blood. The smell of flesh burned and pulled apart by magic. I never want to do that to another soul. Ever again. Take a look. Back to another fine day in Dawnstar. If you know, heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard, vampire hunters or something. In the old form, enlist, the rift fight the Imperium. I'd consider joining up myself. Yes, Enlisting in the storm cloaks? Oh. Word is spreading like mage fire. The great evil has been vanquished. You have truly saved us all. You've come to Dawnstar at a strange time frame. See. Staying safe, I hope. What trouble? Need something? The entire town is being plagued by horrible nightmares. They're in serious danger, but I'm afraid there's little I can do about it. These dreams are manifestations created by the Daedric Lord, Vermina. She has an awful hunger for our memories. In return, she leaves behind nightmares, not unlike a cough marks a serious illness. I must end her terrible influence over these people before the damage becomes permanent. I need to return to the source of the problem 
to Nightcaller Temple. Perhaps you'd be willing to assist me in that regard. I've already said too much. If anyone overhears what we're saying, it could start a panic. I would simply ask that you trust me and help me end Dawnstar's nightmares. Wonderful. My Lady Mara will be quite pleased. Nightcaller Temple is only a short walk from Dawnstar. Come, we must hurry. Vermina resides in a strange realm known as Quagmire, a nightmarish land where reality shifts upon itself in seemingly impossible ways. From her citadel at the center, she reaches forth to collect our memories, leaving nothing in return apart from visions of horror and despair. <coughs> Who can say? Perhaps she collects them for display like works of art in a nonsensical art gallery. Whatever the case may be, her intentions are far from benevolent. I promise to answer all of your questions. Follow me. This is a local favorite, and one of the first songs I ever learned. Ragnar the Red. Oh, there once was a hero named...